what's going on with you guys my name is Kenneth aka one week and today I just want to talk about the new UFC 230 main event DC Daniel Cormier versus the Black Beast Derek Lewis but before that I just want I just want to say that I haven't uploaded any video for about five straight days now Big, uh, one reason uh, slow internet uh, slow internet here in Philippines and I'm having a big trouble with this one and I just I just want you to update, uh, update guys about what's happening on my life so let's get started and also I'm busy at work right now but I'm still uh, I still want to make uh, a video right now so let's get started age factor uh, Daniel Cormier being 39 years old but for me it isn't a big factor for Daniel Cormier uh, in his age 39 years old in his last two wins it it was yeah by knockout Stipe Miocic and Volkan Ozdemir both by KO so it's it's not a big factor for Daniel Cormier next one for Derek Lewis uh, being the younger guy 3 and 3 33 uh, it isn't also a factor for him in this stage I think this is his prime is uh, too much punching power and KO power for him so let's get started with their record DC 21 wins with one loss to John Jones one no contest to John Jones the greatest of all time Daniel Cormier 21 wins uh, in those 21 wins he does have 10 KOs 10 KOs for submission and 7 by decision Derek Lewis also have 21 wins but his KO rate is much more higher than DC out of 21 wins he does have 18 KOs that's a lot 1 submission and 2 decisions uh, Derek Lewis does have 5 losses but DC uh, does have just one only to the great John Jones so record check achievements uh, this is a bit special because Daniel Cormier is a is, uh, was an Olympic medalist he's also uh, the fifth multidivisional champion the light heavyweight and also the heavyweight champion he does have three uh, title defenses in UFC light heavyweight uh, belt five performance bonuses uh, it's still a lot for a champion and in his age is still impressive for Derek Lewis he is tied with Cain Velasquez for most KOs in UFC heavyweight history with 10 consecutive KOs five, perfor uh, five performance bonuses like just like DC also three fight winning streak in this year 2018 and he just won uh, he just won last Sunday and being the new UFC 230 main event I think it's just two months to prepare for this fight but still uh, still a great show for him money talks next one keys to win uh, uh, it's it's pretty simple for uh, that uh, for Daniel Cormier uh, endless pressure team aka uh, the team was is just full of talents and their main strategy is to pressure and pressure and pressure their opponents using their wrestling and ground and pound Khabib, Kane, Luke Rockhold, DC the four champions here same style uh, uh, cardio and pressure next one outwork yeah too much cardio body shot this is the one thing that uh, that lacks uh, uh, Daniel Cormier he lacks but uh, body punches yeah he's like a headhunter but he's still a great headhunter but adding those body shots to Derek Lewis I think it will be a great uh, great advantage and it is also a great asset for Daniel Cormier for his next opponents ground and pound uh, Derek Lewis does have tough chin but during on the ground it's much more uh, it's much more difficult for him next one Derek Lewis keys to win uh, KO power uh, 18 KOs in 21 wins it's above 90% so it's 
So for Derek Lewis, uh, one thing to win is to uh, knock out the champion Daniel Cormier. Second one, higher output. Derek Lewis isn't the volume guy. Doesn't he doesn't have the higher punch output? So for me, he does need this tactic to win because it can be a decision and Derek Lewis isn't fond of decision defend clinches team aka clinches ground and pound pressure just defend the clinches just stand up and release the KO power and for me that's the best way to win for Derek Lewis I don't think he can win via, via punch output and also by decision just like that only by knocking out the champion prediction i'm sad to say for derek lewis uh, he's one of my uh, favorite fighters right now because he's a killer he doesn't like decisions and he's funny but for me the champion is still uh still will stay the champion uh, daniel dc cormier will win uh via tko the third round i don't think uh derek lewis will will get much uh, much cardio in this training and also uh, he, he doesn't have that great pressure uh, technique and he doesn't defend well in terms of clinches and uh, wrestling and Daniel Cormier uh, his only weakness his uh, his his weaknesses his weakness no not weaknesses his weakness is just John Jones for me John Jones is the only guy who can beat Daniel Cormier and for me Derek Lewis I'm sorry but I'm going to give this to Daniel Cormier I think he's just too powerful and too mo and he does have more finesse than Derek so Daniel uh, DC all the way so what's next for Daniel Cormier if he wins uh, it can be Cormier versus Brock Lesnar if he wants money it can be money or legacy legacy means he'll, he'll fight John Jones for the third time last one before he retires and for me it's the greatest end to his career if he defeats john jones he segments his he segments himself as the best ufc champion ever maybe alongside with anderson silva and george and pierre as for Derek lewis he should fight stipe after this one win or lose stipe to prove himself as the best heavyweight right now in the ufc so that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'm going back to my work and if you like this video smash like comment and subscribe peace